Hi, I'm Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I want to list out five most powerful and useful ACF plugins and add-ons. And these add-ons work really well with ACF, which is Advanced Custom Fields. We've talked about ACF quite a lot. There's a playlist on the channel. You can check that out. In this video, I'm going to list out five ACF plugins that will take your ACF workflow to the next level. Starting with number one is the advanced custom fields pro version itself now advanced custom fields pro version can be found on advanced custom fields plugin and what it really does is it adds really practical fields to your acf plugin such as flexible content such as repeater such as clone fields and also relational fields now such as gallery fields now all of these fields are really helpful in building real time websites. So the first plugin that you should get after trying out the free version of ACF is Advanced Custom Fields Pro. In addition to getting field types such as repeater, uh, flexible content, clone fields and gallery fields, you also need ACF Pro to really work well with other ACF add-ons. So if you go to a website called awesomeacf.com, it lists out all the plugins or add-ons for ACF and most of the add-ons in here require ACF Pro. So if I click on this pl particular plugin, it's a free plugin, however it requires ACF Pro as you can see here. Not just this one, almost 80 to 90 percent of the plugins built for ACF require Advanced Custom Fields Pro. So that's another reason to get Advanced Custom Fields Pro version and you can get it from Advanced Custom Fields Store. And the next most logical and powerful plugin to have after advanced custom fields, either the pro or the free version, is Elementor Pro. Now, Elementor Pro really has extensive integration of advanced custom fields. So, whenever you're entering content in any widget, so, so when I click on any dynamic option, at the bottom you find an option for ACF field. So, this can literally pull data from any of the ACF fields. Or the field groups created this is really helpful and also Elementor Pro can pull the gallery fields from the gallery ACF field so it can pull all the images from the ACF gallery field so that's really huge so if I drag in Elementor Pro's gallery widget which is simply called gallery and if I go to dynamic options you can see there's an option to pick ACF gallery field so you can enter the data on the Gutenberg side and it will be perfectly displayed in your Elementor templates. All this can be designed using the dynamic option. I've already shown all this. You can check out Advanced Custom Fields playlist to take a look at how to work with ACF Gallery and Elementor Pro. So Elementor Pro is the most practical ACF add-on. And since you're working with Elementor in visual way, there's no need to write code to pull all these custom fields. It's just a click away so if I click on this heading widget I can simply click this and pick an ACF field it's that simple so you can pick what kind of field you want although Elementor Pro is perfect it handles 80% of the ACF fields both ACF Pro and free fields there are few fields that Elementor Pro cannot still handle like I said Elementor Pro can handle most of the advanced custom field field types except a few probably the most powerful ones it can handle acf gallery but if you want to pull out fields and display them in the form of a templates you need dynamic content plugin so this is the next most powerful plugin required if you want to work flawlessly with advanced custom fields so it has acf google maps this can be again integrated using elementor pro as well but you get acf repeater widget which lets you pull repeated data. It has ACF relationship widget. So these are two really powerful widgets that will let you work with repeater field. Now dynamic content plugin can handle all the fields that Elementor Pro can handle. In addition to that, it gives you tokens to work with. So these ACF fields can be put literally anywhere in your forms, in your any widget that has dynamic content option provided by the dynamic content plugin also you can work with acf relational fields acf repeater fields 
even nested repeaters without writing a single piece of code and probably this is one of the most powerful plugins now everything i'm talking about in this video has its own separate tutorial you can check out acf playlist for more info on each of the features that i'm talking about so there's a separate video on repeaters there's a separate video on relation fields and a lot more so this is my third and the second most powerful plugin to work with acf fields if not the most powerful plugin which is dynamic content for elementor link to that again will be in the description down below fourth most useful and important plugin is acf front end form it lets you create posts pages users all by using acf fields and by using the front end functionality and best of all this is a free plugin and it works with elementor again there's a video on this you can check out ACF playlist on the channel for more info on that. So this is the fourth most important and powerful plugin. Finally, I have unlimited elements for Elementor. Now, if you're creating widgets with custom CSS, custom code, custom JavaScript, this is one of the best add-ons and also the first one of the most unique add-ons to let you create your own Elementor widget with attributes and so on. Now, this has ACF support as well. And best of all it's all free it also lets you pull acf repeater fields using code but you need to slightly have an idea of the code of html css and javascript if you are comfortable with that unlimited elements add-on is a really powerful elementor add-on and also an add-on for advanced custom fields again you can create your own widget or you can download from the widgets library Links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. That's it for now. These are the five most essential and most powerful plugins for ACF. And also all of these work really well with Elementor. So that's a huge bonus. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll be back with another video. Until then, keep watching. See ya.